Korean movies and TV shows have been killing it lately, like Squid Game, number one show on Netflix last year, and Parasite won the Oscar the year before. And there's tons more that not a lot of people watch because people only notice the ones that are on the top, right? Like Crème de la Crème. But let's change that today. In this video, I'll show you some of the best Korean movies and TV shows that are available on Netflix, which you can watch with just a VPN. Let's begin, shall we? Oh, side note, all the movies and TV shows are actually critically acclaimed or well rated by the audience. So most of the ones that we are recommending are, you know, widely regarded as good. Train to Busan. Now, at first, it might seem like yet another zombie flick, but considering that it's Korean, the flavor and the direction is like fresh and new. For starters, it takes place on a train as a zombie outbreak begins, and then it slowly infects the train, obviously not the train itself, but the people in it. And things take a dark turn from there. It's got twilling moments and a tinge of social commentary, but it's also got plenty of action as it's got zombies chasing after people and turning people within a train. It's available on Netflix in Argentina, Brazil, Hong Kong, Japan, South Korea, and a bunch of others. Moving on. Miracle in a Cell number 7 is actually a comedy drama about a bunch of prisoners who join forces to protect a mentally impaired comrade and his young daughter. I'm not sure if it's actually about communism, but it's about a guy who's wrongfully accused of you know, murder and rape, but his friendships within the prison lets him reunite with his daughter in the prison. It's a prison break-in, unlike most movies which are usually prison break-out that we see normally. What really sold me is how wholesome and funny it is for a prison break drama. You can find Miracle Number no. 7 on Netflix Japan and Korea. Alright, this one is an oldie but a really good one and a classic revenge tale. So, bad guys kills fiance of a protagonist, he goes on for revenge which is, you know, been there done that. But what sets it apart is the style and the tone of the movie that is not only ultra gory but also has sad undertones with a ton of emotion. Asian movies generally tend to have a lot of, you know, emotions in it. Imagine if Deadpool was made like Logan, that's what it really feels like. A Korean psychological thriller is something that I thought I'd never watch or even talk about, but here we are. It's quite simple and incredibly thrilling. A brother returns home after being kidnapped, but he doesn't seem to remember anything from the past 19 days. Like, it's pretty run-of-the-mill, right? But this drives our hero to chase after the mystery, and things actually take a darker turn from the protagonist's perspective, and it's not for the faint of the heart, I tell you. It's a good one-time watch, and you can find it pretty much on all Netflix catalogs, be it in our Netflix US, Canada, or any Asian countries. This Korean crime drama is kind of like The Departed, but with more melodramatic undertone. So it's about an undercover police officer who spends eight years as an undercover goon just rising up in the ranks in a crime syndicate. I mean, to the point where he becomes like right hand and the number two in the gang. But then, the number one in the gang gets killed and starts a power struggle within the gang itself. That leads to war and, you know, culture clash and whatnot. If you're in the mood for a really good crime drama like Goodfellas or even Casino or The Wire, this is a really great one and you should definitely watch it. And it's available on Netflix South Korea. Okay, like it says in the box, it's literally about an innocent girl who happens to be autistic but becomes a witness in a murder case. So the attorney and the girl develop an unlikely friendship that you wouldn't normally see. And that makes for a heartwarming father-daughter type relationship like The Last of Us, which is the upcoming HBO series, if you've seen it. And it also focuses on the trials and tribunes of a mentally challenged girl with actually a deft hand instead of just, you know, clunkiness. You can actually find it on Netflix South Korea. All right, coming back to how to watch these movies on Netflix, like say, Train to Busan, if you search that on Netflix and it doesn't show up, here's what you can actually do. You can Google Train to Busan, see which country's Netflix it's on, and then switch on your VPN, either smart VPN or ones that you have, and then change it to that country, Watch it from there, as simple as that. Well, that's about it. Check out our other videos on Netflix tips and tricks and other you know, movie recommendations that we've done, either in the top right corner, where you know, a pop-up will show the video playlist, or you can check out in the description below. As always, I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. 